and I will say that the, the transformation of McDowell County is, is phenomenal. Uh, I can think of no other county in the state that I've seen anywhere near the growth that I have here. It's uh, just phenomenal. Students on task, high quality instruction, uh, bell to bell. Uh, the high expectations is just uh, unbelievable. So, you know, so uh, I, I commend you greatly. Um, as I say, I've seen a lot of a lot of schools around the state, a lot of, uh, of, of the school systems, and uh, I'm yet to see in, uh, any growth anywhere close to what you've had here. Yeah, thank you. So, um, thank you, principals, for coming. It's cold, busy night. You just got back to work. Thank you. Shows your dedication. We thank OEPA, Mr. Alan Brock, and Ms. Susan O'Brien for coming. They actually volunteered to come. It was not something that I begged them to do or asked them to do, but I was jokingly talking earlier. I would have done that if they hadn't already asked, <laughs> can we come and speak to the board? And we're here tonight to celebrate some of the accomplishments we've made in McDowell County in the recent years. And you'll hear more about that in just a minute. Well, compared to other schools or everywhere you're affiliated with, what I want you to do is take your eyes and go to substantiated ratings and go to the bottom. And you see the number 190. So that means 190 of the ratings that you gave yourself were substantiated by the OEPA team that came in. So there was agreement that in 190 instances that we agree with what you say you are. You said you were something when you filled out that SMR. Your school said you were something. The group came in and said 190 times, we agree with you. If you look at the next line, you can see 61 in increased ratings from what you had as a faculty. That's great. It's great that you had that many that the OEPA team came in and said, we actually think you're better than you think you are in those instances. And the last line is decreased ratings was 13. So, in your minds, I want you to look at increase versus decrease. <clears throat> increase is much, much higher. So we actually rated ourselves a little bit lower, and I'm gonna take the blame for that because I kept saying, we've gotta look at our data. What is our data telling us about our kids in our schools? And many of them were in the emerging stage. But OEPA says maybe not, and you had an increased rating either to accomplish or distinguish but I still am thrilled that she's gonna go over that because it's someone from outside saying the same thing that we're saying on the inside. What happens when you get that? What happens when you have a group from the outside saying the same thing that you're saying from the inside? Does that happen very much? You think it happens in Congress? <laughs> <laughs> you think it happens in any other organizations in McDowell County? That typically doesn't happen. OEPA came several years ago. Did that happen? No. 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 Big disconnect. Scars. Still there. Wounds probably not, but the scars probably healed over. Some of you on the board, I can look at three of you and say you were there at that time. So now you've got a set of data and all this, what I'm showing you here, there's agreement with what's happening in McDowell County. And there's some good things happening. You're going to see some of that in the data she's going to present in just a moment. Now, we still have many challenges, don't we? Oh, yes. Do you know what they are? Yes. Yeah, because we sat and wrote the street plans together, and I sat with the board, and we said these are the things we're going to focus on. And I'm not going to pull anybody out and ask, but we can talk about attendance, we can talk about early literacy, we can talk about math and reading skills. Culture and climate is in every single one of your strategic plans. And you've got action steps that you're going to tell me in the next couple of meetings where you are. It's mid-year. Where are we? Are we making a difference? And we are. Some places we're not. Some places we are. So very rarely do you see outside group, group of administrators, and a board <coughs> that's all on the same page. We're very, very lucky. I'm lucky as a superintendent to have that. So I commend all of you. Thank all of you. Ms. O'Brien, the floor is yours. We're going to go ahead and pass those out now, if you'd yes, like. That would be good. You didn't want to. Right. Yeah, I, I, we, can, we can do it right here. So, President Williams, members of the board, um, 
Mr. Spencer, I, I want to I appreciate the time and the opportunity to come down. As best. Um, I served as the director for the Office of Education Performance Audits for the last year. So I came in at an opportune time because it was at a time of transition for the Office of Education Performance Audits. Mr. Brock was there under what we call the, the uh, less friendly OEPA, where they were there, you know, many years ago, and he knows that history. But when I came in, we were transitioning into more uh, continuous improvement. So we were uh, as Ms. O'Brien said, I was with the, the original OEPA. I've been with the office uh, a little over 12 years. And in those 12 years, I've had the opportunity to, to conduct audits in uh, 52 of the 55 counties in West Virginia. And, uh, and I will say that the, the transformation of the McDowell County is, is phenomenal. Uh, I can think of no other county in the state that I've seen anywhere near the growth that I have here. Uh, and it comes from the central office down. I mean, uh, uh, this past audit, I spent more time in the elementary schools and uh, just phenomenal. Students on task, high quality instruction, uh, bell to bell. Uh, the high expectations is just uh, unbelievable. So, uh, yeah, again, from the old system to the new system, uh, uh, yeah, I believe I believe uh, yeah, you've really uh, grasped the concept. You you have, have looked at, at what you're doing here, and uh, you've seen you've seen the weaknesses. You've uh, received the professional development. You've uh, uh, implemented uh, different strategies to overcome those. So, uh, I I commend you greatly. Um, as I say, I've seen a lot of a lot of schools around the state, a lot of, of, of the school systems, and uh, I'm yet to see in, uh, any growth anywhere close to what you've had here. Yeah, thank you. So, um, it's really a privilege to be here. And what I wanted to talk about, and, and when Mr. Spencer, when I offered to come down, I said, really what I wanted to focus on was the positive impact that positive words have and the change, and again, you can see it with your young people here. And so I applaud you for that. And that, I think, is a lot of the change that I saw when I had the opportunity to sit through each exit conference with the superintendent, his staff, and the principal. I heard positives. I heard people who were encouraged by the feedback that we were able to give them because they could act, it was tangible for them. They could go, oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yes, I understand that, and oh, I agree with that. So it was a really positive experience, but also what I noticed is that with the central office staff, it was encouragement. Every principal who left the room, they said, celebrate and go back and look at your data. Celebrate, go back and look at your data. And that's really important, because those are those small, positive, words of encouragement that make a big difference in the school system. With that said, what I wanted to do, Mr. Spencer will obviously go with his principals, go school by school and, and help develop a plan of action or to act uh, and reflect upon a plan of action that you've already developed with your strategic planning. But what I did, I had my uh, data coordinator, Sarah Harper, prepare an overview and compare um, Raleigh, or Raleigh, McDowell counties to all the other counties in RESA 1, which would be Raleigh, Wyoming, Summers, Mercer, Monroe, I think I have them all, Raleigh, Mercer, Wyoming, Summers, McDowell, and Monroe. So you can kind of see where you are in relationship to the, the other counties that are similar to McDowell. Now, one of the things that I commented to the superintendent early, I said, what are you doing with your dropout rates? That's the next page. You dropped, you had one of the largest drops across all of RESA 1 in, the, in reducing your number of dropouts. That's commendable. So something's going on, and I think you had mentioned your, your graduation 2020 coaches. That's impressive. And it, it's showing that people are reaching out to students who are in danger of dropping out and doing something because they're staying. They're staying in school, which is extremely important. And I think you're graduating all but a few <coughs> students, if you shared with me, okay? So that in and of itself is extremely impressive, keeping kids in school. 
and if you have questions, I'd be happy to answer them. But again, it's it's looking at the plywood that fit through the exits with the, my coordinators who who chaired the teams, and it was extremely impressive just to hear how the administrators are using data. That's what I heard all throughout, and I sit through as many exit conferences as I can. I think, and I, and I even said to the state board when I gave my report last month <coughs> with a recent one, I said, all I heard in McDowell County was data, 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 data. And the other thing that was impressive was student voice. I said, no other place have I heard that student voice is really honored and it's encouraged, and that is impressive. And again, it, it shows in your young people you're going as McDowell County and that's really important where you are going as McDowell County because you're part of a, a team, a system.